Okay, in this video, I want to discuss how we upload the information from a PowerFlex 525 into Connected Components Workbench. If you've never set up the connection between a PowerFlex 525 and your programming PC, I do have videos in this playlist on that that would be helpful for you to go and look at. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to select New, and I'm going to add a name to this. And I'm going to browse this out and find a place for it. I'm going to select Create. Hit Yes here. Now I'm going to go out there and find a device. So my 525 here, select this. I'm going to come here. Again, I have a video that walks you through all of these steps. I'm going to select OK there. I'm not going to give it a name. Again, a video out there that will show you how to do all of that. Now I'm going to go into the parameters and you'll notice that these are all very blank. There's nothing in here that wouldn't be from like considered a factory setting. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select upload. I'm going to come through RS links. And again, if you've never set up uh, 525 through RS links, I do have another video in this playlist about this. And I'll make a link to that in the description. Select finish. Now if I go to parameters, everything that's highlighted were the parameters that were on this VFD. The helpful thing about this is let's say I have a VFD that is starting to have some problems. I can go in there before it completely shuts down and pull all the parameters that have been set either manually or through uh, a CCW or something else. Studio 5000, I can pull all those parameters out. Then when I replace the 525, all I then have to do is download those same parameters. Now let's say you originally put all the parameters into the 525 through CCW, but then over the couple of years, you've gone through and manually changed some things on the VFD. Now, before you pull that VFD out, to be swapped out or sent in for repair, you're going to want to upload all that information so that you can store it. You can also come here and actually print all of this out so you have a paper copy of it. This was just a quick video on how you upload all the information from a PowerFlex 525 into Connected Components Workbench. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.